Hulk Hogan's storylines are stupid as shit. Now, I love Hulk Hogan. I'm not gonna lie. And I know that the guy was able to utilize what he had at a time where most of the promos, the segments, the shit in the ring was all rehearsed. I mean, it was all improvised. That's why Ultimate Warrior said some bad shit stuff. That's why Hogan said some bad shit stuff. Because they were winging it. And they were very good at doing that. I think earlier on in television, people were more creative in terms of improvisation. They made an art form out of it. Certainly a book I never read, but nonetheless, they did make a great artwork, art form out of it. And... I can tell why Hogan is always in shitty movies, because my boy can't act. Only six-year-olds were buying into this bullshit. And those kids grew up citing him as one of the greats, and he truly is a magnificent superstar. But his storylines in the 80s were shit. <laughs> This is every Hulk Hogan storyline upon his return to the WWF after his AWA bullshit didn't work and in the birth of Hulkamania. Him and his friend are both working to beef against this manager, whether it be Bobby the Brain Heenan or some douchebag like Ted DiBiase. They're working to fight against this guy, but then his friend turns his back on him and Hulkamania. He says, then, fuck both of you, I'm gonna like, destroy Hulkamania. Hogan feels embarrassed and abandoned the situation by his friend, and he says, alright, you were never shit. How dare you do this to me? And... And they get a match book that mania or some other pay-per-view closed circuit television programming. And this is how it worked with Piper. This is how it worked with Paul Orndorff. This is how it worked with Andre the Giant. This is how it worked with Randy Savage. This is how it worked with everybody. These were all his bros and they all abandoned his ass. And that's why I can't stay into that shit. I can't into his storyline. I'll watch the shit out of his matches. He may not be great in the ring, but he has a psychology on lock. It's one of the time where there weren't any 450 splashes, any crazy spot fest. There wasn't a lot of overly technical wrestling. I mean, you're going to see a lot of splashes, a lot of rest holds, and a lot of... A guy kicking someone literally while he's down before they start no selling and making a ridiculous comeback. It was a different time in the sports, yet I still liked it. I could still into it. I could still enjoy it for what it is. And a lot of magnificent stuff was able to come from that. Yet <laughs> this shit was fucking stupid. I like how the storylines were able to go and coalesce and become something bigger. Yet it was the same shit. Same fucking shit. It all led one to another. That's why I felt that wrestling at the time was at its most soap opera y. And I could understand why someone that prefers southern wrestling. They weren't drawing shit from that. Oh, up until 97, the WWE couldn't draw for anything of the self. Because the storylines were too stupid, colorful. It wasn't raw enough. It wasn't... unfiltered enough. It was just... goofy, that's it. It was silly, unorthodox cartoonish, overly dramatic, hammy, and that's what a lot of people like about it. 
<laughs> but you gotta admit, the storylines were stupid as shit. How many friends did Hulk Hogan fucking lose? How many, like... Nicola, I, I cited four yet. Those are just the guys off the top of my head. Like, all of his friends abandoned him. This guy, his circle keeps on getting smaller. He's like... A, the typical rant of an Instagram user personified. Especially when they're on Textgram. My circle is getting smaller. Fuck it, though. My fans still love me. And he kind of has this pretentious attitude about him, too, where he has this hippie-ish law of attraction mentality as both in character and out of character, where he truly believes he's making all the right decisions. And that any negative action on him causes bad karma because he's truly just and that he's a great guy. Now, I don't hate Hogan. Um, I don't hate anybody that Jericho likes and is bros with Jericho. But you gotta admit, that's some pretentious ass hippie shit. Very familiar and very similar to that superstar Billy Graham guy. Like, he pioneered that hippie-ish blonde with the tan and the all that good stuff. Which is a character I don't see a lot now. I sort of see more of the Ric Flair imitations when I see a fake blonde. Not overly tanned, but flamboyant is all shit, none of that hippie stuff. Anyways, this is Mr. Ronka 7, and Hogan to the dick. Hogan to the dick.